Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about the architecture of Android. We have been reading about Android, we are studying about Android, we will be developing applications for Android. But before we jump into that thing, we just need to know actually what and is Android composed of. See, Android is having basically a five layer architecture, one, two, three, and four. Fifth one being the Android runtime, okay? Now, the very first layer or the bottom layer of Android is the Linux kernel. We have always heard that Android is based on Linux. Now, by Linux, we mean that the kernel of the Android is the Linux kernel. Now, what is the main work of kernel? The main work of kernel is to get the work done from a hardware. Hardware can be anything, your display, your camera, your Wi-Fi, anything can be a hardware. Now, after the kernel, we are having libraries. Now, what are libraries composed of? Libraries are nothing but some uh, some logical group or some logical instructions that we give that we want to give to the kernel to perform an action is being done by the libraries. Like we have a SQLite library, we have an OpenGL library, we have a SSL library. These all are libraries, right? Libraries can be even C, C++ library, libraries, even Java libraries, .jars can also be there. Now, in the third layer or in the top layer, we are having the application framework. These are basically <clears throat> group of instances put together for the purpose of a developer to make things easier or understandable. Like we are having an activity manager or a telephone manager, let's say. Telephone manager would be, the role would be to actually get calls, make SMS, things like that. All things related to telephony would be in the telephone manager. Now, as a developer, when we develop applications, we would be using this particular telephone manager for our purpose and we don't need to go deeper or go deeper in the libraries or to the kernel. This will help us to do the things ourselves. About this application framework, we are having some applications. Applications that are built in our phone, like contacts, phone, browser, your camera. These applications that are available in the Android phone itself are known as applications. Then as a user or as a developer, we will develop applications above this layer. We will call them user developed applications. Okay. Now let's go in deeper into all of these and study what all these are having or what these all are. 